Hello and welcome back everyone. This is Computer Science 0478 Problem uh, Solving and Programming Paper 2. As you know, this is the pre-release material pseudocode solution of this session, May, June 2021. And in the previous sessions of task one, we have completed these points, point number, number one, point number two, point number three, point number four. In today's session here, we're going to continue point number uh, five and point number six. Okay, so at point number five here of task one, as we know that task one is setting up the voting system to allow a tutor group to elect a representative, uh, allow each student to input their vote or to abstain. Okay, so if he uh, wants to vote, as we know that each tutor group has uh, a number of students ranging between 28 up till 35 students. Okay, so we must ask every student here and this group of students, okay, 28 times, 29 times, or up to 35 times if the number of students are 35. Okay, so here we need to uh, have a for loop, okay, to maintain uh, this number of uh, students. Okay, so if number of students that we have uh, entered earlier in the previous points of task one is 28, so this uh, will repeat for from one till uh, the number of students in group which could be 28 or 20, 29 uh, 30 31 up to 35 so i made this as a variable in case that uh, because it depends on the user input okay then i have to prompt since this, since this is one of the uh, must do things in the pre-release material pseudo code solution okay i selected that in case that the uh, student wants to vote so he will uh, type v uh, if he wants to abstain, he will type A. Then we receive the uh, user input here in this variable, vote or abstain. I made this variable, I declared this variable at the beginning, which is going to be uh, declare vote or abstain as a character or as a string to receive his selection, his choice of uh, typing V or typing A. And at point number six here, uh, which says count the votes for each candidate and student abstention. Okay, previously we give the choice for the, uh, for the user to type V or A. V means voting, A means abstention. Okay, in case that he selected V, so this part will, uh, will occur. Okay, in case that else if the voter uh, vote or abstain uh, equals a so this will happen anything else in uh, this will show a message invalid uh, you need to choose v for vote or a for abstain okay so we have here three options v a or anything else in case that he pressed on or typed v so uh, this message prompting the user to type the number of uh, the number to choose one of the candidates okay and what will happen here in this for loop is simply that it's going to write down the number of uh, the candidate. Okay, let's say we have three candidates, one, two, three, because this loop counts from one to number of group candidates, the variable that we used uh, earlier. So, and then along with this, so for example, if the counter equals one, so in the group with, in the array, which contains the names of the students. Okay, so this will uh, show the first name name one let's say for example name one of the candidates candidate name one and then it will loop when this variable here for the for loop equals two so this will loop in uh, uh, in the to the index of two so this will show the the second name in the array which holds the names of the candidates and so on name three why I'm doing this because here I need to use this number to uh, represent each candidate okay then the user will input he he will uh, he will see this displayed on the screen and then he might input for example two input candidate number he might input two then we have here a condition uh, case a con uh, case statement and in case that he pressed or he uh, typed two in case of two that means increment the number of uh, votes for this candidate uh, for this candidate and store it in the vote count array we will have another array here i will declare this uh, uh, up there as you can see okay vote 
count array this one vote count array which holds here four places maximum the first uh, index the second the third the fourth for example if the user selected the candidate two so the value the previous value inside uh, the index of two let's say that this candidate has uh, uh, previously five votes so what will happen here I will increment this by one and add this to the uh, the value the previous value so it will be five plus one so the new value here for this candidate will be six the same thing for the other uh, for the other candidates okay so at the end I will find something like this seven six uh, nineteen for example and uh, let's say uh, zero votes for this candidate okay so we have choices here and as you know that we must validate the input in case if it's one or two or three or four do this or this or this or this uh, otherwise you must show an error message here in valid candidate number else if vote or abstain equals a this is going to be another uh, thing here that we counted here the student abstention so we have uh, we have declared a new variable abstain count so if the uh, the student choose chooses a okay so we will increment the number of candidates uh, sorry the number of abstention here by one at the end we will count these all and we will count the abstention this might be for example five six seven eight whatever the, the number of abstention and then if the user selected anything else that means uh, error and we must also validate this by showing this error message okay so this is the end of uh, uh, task one and you see how much we uh, try to uh, describe all the points of task one uh, the six points of task one as uh, much as possible to make things uh, easy uh, step by step uh, the variables that we have used the arrays that we have declared and the different types of prompts and error messages if conditions and so on you need to practice all of these things and repeat the videos again and again until you understand if you have any questions just let me know through the comments thank you